key. There you are. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Oh, well, you know, I just got this urge to reread part of Part Bay Girls, and I remember that I had left the volume at school. So I thought I'd just read it here and then have a little snack. Volume. I think you like this story a lot. Natsuki. It's about a group of girls who all used to live at this orphanage. Natsuki, we went to your house to find you. And they have no one to look after them except themselves. And we heard a man screaming some stuff on a phone outside. And they formed their own special club. That man was your father, right? Where they just cook and make all sorts of yummy desserts they can eat every day. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful story? No! No, I mean, stories like that don't exist. They are just here to remind us of what we don't have. Every day, every day with that man. It's just so hard. I just wanted to come to the club and... Natsuki. But Monica locked the damn door and I have to sit here and eat all these cupcakes myself. I was just following school policy. It doesn't matter. I probably couldn't fit through the door anyway. Some 18th birthday, huh? Why not help yourself to some cupcakes? It's a celebration after all. They're going to be the last of their kind anyway, since they can't make any more without an oven. Yeah, but what's the point? I'll probably not be going to school anymore anyway after today. So you better eat them all before I do. Natsuki, that's enough! What are you trying to do? Eat yourself to death? Uh, if only it were that easy. You abandoned me! Ever since you two got together, you spent more time in each other's arms than around the club! You won't even play with me anymore! You won't read manga with me or ask me about my hobbies like you used to! All you want me to do is write your stupid poems and beg for you! If that's... all you... want me for... then I... might as well... eat! So, this is what it's like to lose. It's heartbreaking.
I ought to load it a save I made while we were talking. I only have enough power to do that once, so we'll need to tread lightly this time. This was never a part of the original script, so I'm not even sure what the right answer is or how we can avoid it. You guys come to hang out at school on weekends to read my manga collection? And here I thought I was a club otaku! Cupcake? It's really good. Naturally, they're made by yours truly after all. I was working on a lot of different recipes for the club booth, so I thought it'd be good to test them first. This one has extra butter frosting. It's delicious. Really? What about trying a few more? I always appreciate my cooking. I never get that sort of praise at home. Mm-hmm. You guys have never met my dad before, but I don't think he's a sweet sort of guy. I spend a lot of time baking these in secret whenever he's not home. Fortunately, he's not home a lot, so I might have gone a little overboard. There's plenty more where this came from, so please, take some more. So good. Mmm. But that might be for the best. I really wanted to make these special for you guys, so I'm happy I could see you before the festival. I realized today that it might be my last one. More. I want more. Now don't go blabbing it around, but I'm 18 today, so that means I'm officially a big girl. I like the idea of being older, but at the same time I realize that I mean you guys would be getting older too. Eventually you all graduate and the club will come to an end. I think I know why Sayori is addicted to these. So while we're here, I want to just freeze the moment, you know? I want those silly, happy days of us at the club to just last forever. I wanted to just be a child a little while longer. But, something has come up, and I'm not sure what I should do! I think I'll help myself from here on out. No! I have to make a big girl decision, on my own, but I don't know what the right choice is to make! It's sort of like when Minori in Parfait Girls has to decide if she wants to stay with her current boyfriend, who isn't very nice to her, or go back to her ex who abandoned her. I thought I'd come here and see what happened, but both decisions are pretty bad for her, don't you think? She was, but she doesn't know if he'll just leave her again. And then she'll be all alone. I see. It would be nice if her story worked out that way. Hey, thanks for that. That's all I really needed to hear. Sometimes, it's better to let someone sort their own problems out rather than try to interfere. Just like Minori, I just had a lot to get off my chest. The club has always been my safe place, but I've forgotten that it's the people who run it that make it feel the most safe. So, thank you guys for coming! Oh, that reminds me. I offered some to Monica, but I didn't even offer you a cupcake. Let me just... Ooh, I was caught in a loop of why do I do this to myself and just one more. You ate all of them? There was enough there to feed the entire year group! Well, I guess, you know, that's just enough to feed me. Maybe you shouldn't have made them too.
taste so good. It's not like I wanted to eat them all or anything. B Baka. Minori's opening quote from her introduction chapter. So you do read mangas after all. Of course. I want to know what my friends are interested in. Because that's what friends do. Monica, you can be a real jerk sometimes. But I guess that's what makes people love you so much. Myself included. But that doesn't really solve the new problem of how we're going to make so many new cupcakes before tomorrow. If only I had access to my oven and ingredients. But they're both in my house and... Well, I just can't get them right now. Thank you. 